Fight against the completion of the Public Safety Training Center continues tonight as dozens face charges for violating the state's RICO Act for their alleged involvement in the movement against its construction. Now others are organizing to keep protesting. Atlanta News First, Yasmina Alston is live in Midtown. Yasmina, these groups have been preparing for this all weekend. Carly, it's been a weekend full of action for the Block Cop City group. They started on Friday and ended today with meetings planning what they call a day of action against the facility's construction. So I'm gonna stand up. It's called the Block Cop City weekend of events leading up to Monday, several days of what this group used to prepare with training or legal defense. Derek Ingram traveled to Atlanta from New York City to join the movement against the construction of the Atlanta Public Safety Training Center. It's a all hands on deck approach. I think we fight this legislatively. I think we we fight this every day in our communities, but we also fight this with direct actions as well as education and also making sure that we're, we're um, listening to people that are living in these neighborhoods as well as people that are in touch with the environmental issues with that's going on as well. According to the Block Cop City website, a day of action will happen Monday. The protesting and outrage against the facility the critics refer to as Cop City has been ongoing. Protesters pointing to its impacts on the environment as well as police misconduct, police brutality and over police especially in poor communities and black communities. I think we're coming to a collective consciousness that uh, we currently live in a police state, um, that certain people and demographics are targeted more than others. And we see several communities coming together uh, to try to do mass direct nonviolent actions to bring attention to the issue. Ingram says he came to Atlanta after hearing of the 61 people charged Monday with violating the state's RICO Act for their alleged involvement in the movement against the building of the center. And I thought it was a huge overreaction of a police state. Um, and I think that it, it really showed me that there needed to be a mass movement and mobilization um, just around around this issue and around Cop City. The goal of the center is a place where police, fire, EMS and others can go to train. An organizer against the center says they plan on marching in the morning. Live in Midtown, Yasmina Alston, Atlanta News First. Yasmina Alston, we will be on top of this developing story tomorrow morning. If there are any protesters out in the city, we will make sure that we are on top of that. But a clear